السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا بيكم أبنائي وبناتي طلاب الصف الخامس Today, today إن شاء الله We are going to firstly Revise on each lesson in concept 3-2 We are going to check the code And answer questions for each lesson We have six lessons So we are going to revise on the sixth lesson And at the end of the session We are going إن شاء الله to start with the uh, concept uh, for what for one okay let's start with with this question please you can check the qr reader with the qr reader this code okay and answer it okay let's start with okay the first one Okay, that's the first one. Please write your name and your school and answer the questions. If I ask you, what makes nearly about what percent of the human body? Well, about 70%. So it's about two thirds of the human body. The second thing, this image show one of the water use, which is what? Yeah, yeah, water used in traveling, in recreation, in packing, and in agriculture. But this picture represent agriculture. After that, Aswan Haidan use water. Yes, why Aswan Haidan use water? That's to generate electricity. One can control the space of the living organism's body. My dear students, water is very important to control the temperature of the living organism's body. After that, what is the importance of the liquid which uh, needed by the living organism? Yeah, which one is the very important liquid? All living organisms need that's water. Okay, it's a liquid. All the living organisms need. Another question: Space is formed when water is absorbed into the air through a layer of porous rock. That's called aquifer or the underground water. Yeah, that's water absorbed to the earth. By what? By the porous rocks and path through the cracks. Okay. After that, which of the following doesn't help in conserving water? Yeah, read the sentences. Turn off water. Yeah, that's help us. Drinking more juice. It help us to conserve water. Turning off water while washing your hair. Of course, that's a good behavior. But taking a long shower, that's a bad behavior, which doesn't help in conserving water. All of the following are from sources of water. Yeah, except what? Which one not a source? Yeah, ocean source. Yeah, pond source. Rivers also source. But rocks, not a source. After that, a cycle and this cycle show continuous movement of water from the earth to the atmosphere this cycle called water cycle after that which of the following aren't fresh water source which one not fresh water ocean and seas not fresh water but salty water from the following graph, water covers what of the Earth's surface? Look at this graph, my dear students. Yeah, the green is the land and the blue is the water. So water covers about three quarters of the Earth's surface. Rain is the source of fresh water. 
which of the following? Yeah, the water body which contain two different type of water. One, yeah, of water in different what types? Yeah, which of the following? Water body may contain two different what types of water. It may be salt and also it may be fresh. Yeah, ocean always salt. River always fresh. Sea always uh, salt. But lakes may be salt or maybe what a fresh. The image show one of the water used, which is what water used in traveling. In water cycle. Yeah, liquid water change into water vapor. How the water it change into a water vapor by evaporation process. So now we talk about the first that's the first lesson revision. You can check this yeah cool and try to answer it again by yourself. Let's move to the second form. Yeah, in which also you can check it and answer the questions with me. Okay, that's the second quote. Let's move to show the questions. Okay. Please write your name and your school. Space is a water body which often starts in the mountain as a stream. Yeah, water body starts at the mountain. That's the river. The water body which surrounds the continent, which once surround all the continents, not the estuary, not the lakes, not the rivers, but that's ocean. Take care of that. The ocean surround what? Surround the continent. A triangle shaped area. Mud or other sediment, which form when a river meets a sea. That's which one is this triangle shape. Of course, it's easy. That's the delta. Water, which is stored in the cracks and the spaces. Yeah, between the ground rocks. This type of water is called, yeah, ground water. Estuary is formed when the water of what meets the water of what? Estuary when the river meets a sea. Not river meets underground, not sea or an ocean, not sea in a wetland. Two different type of water. One of them fresh and the other is salt. Okay. More than percent of the world animal live in fresh water. Take care to this percentage. More than 10% of the animal which found on earth live what live in fresh water. We have two main risks that threaten the fresh water in the world, which are what? The risk which threaten the fresh water. Yeah, scarcity of the fresh water and also the poor quality fresh water due to pollution. That's risks which Reaching the water of the earth. Lakes from what? Oh, when the water is collected. Yeah, yeah, my dear students, lakes, water collected in low lying area. When the water collected in a low lying area, that's for a lake. After that, delta is formed when the speed of the water decrease. Yeah. Speed increase? Of course not. The river dry up? That's false. The water level decrease? Also that's false. But delta takes place or happens when the speed of the water decrease. Which of the following is a type of wet land? Type of wet land? That's the bog. And here, the floor of the ocean may contain what? Take care to this point, my dear students. The floor of the ocean contain mountain and plateaus. Okay, so the mountains and plateaus found where? Found at the floor of 
the sea and also the ocean. Take care to this point and this picture simply show this point. That's the surface of the water of the sea or ocean, but if you look at the floor of it, you can find what you can find a mountain or a plateau. Okay. Another one. There is more amount of what on earth than water in the river and lakes. Yeah, more amount of of course, yeah, groundwater than which found in the lakes and river. Human obtain their need of what? Lakes, river, stream, groundwater. All of these examples are examples of fresh water, yeah, so, and they are fresh water resources. So, human obtain their need of fresh water from the lakes, the river, and stream. This example of fresh water, yeah, river is an example of fresh water. When the water of the river move quickly across the land, it pick up while moving, it picks up what sediment. Okay? Now, let's move to another one. The next forms. I need you to scan this form to get the answers and the question. But firstly, write your name and your school. Let's get it. Lesson three. An area of what of land area of land where all water flow to a common location that's area where the water collected in a common location this area is called take care that's a watershed when area from different resources collected in one common location that's called a watershed another one you're in heavy rainfall yeah there is a heavy rainfall the water level rise well, yeah will of course rise or increase and that causing flood the care during heavy rain there is increase in the water level and also there is flood another one when there is a little amount of water little water the water living in the stream will what yeah, little water, so it will decrease and drought will okay. Another one are small water bodies. That's creek which flow into a bigger yeah river. Yeah, water move into a bigger river. So all of these small water bodies which is collected in this river, that's called tributaries. So these called tributaries. All of the following reasons can cause water pollution. Yeah, except what? Yeah, nearby trash dump, of course. Uh, okay, uh, uh, what pollution? Factory waste, okay, pollution. Chemical fertilizer, that's called also pollution. But building them, not a reason of pollution. In this image. Number one represents the area where the river start. This one is the area where the river start. So that's called upstream or downstream. Look at this picture. Yeah, river start here, so that's upstream. In the following image, the river downstream represents by number course three. Which of the following is correct? Yeah, water flow through connected water parts. Yeah, the water flow move from what? Firstly, tributaries, then the bigger river, and finally in the tributaries, bigger river, then in what? In an ocean. The biggest amount of water on Earth is found where? Yeah, in the salt water of the oceans and seas. 
a building established across a river. There is a building which established across a river. This building is called what? And this building hold the water behind it. That's my dear students called that. Now we finished the questions of lesson three. Now that's now that's the questions of lesson four. You can can the questions of lesson four by using this code. When the government prevent building a factory in Wadi Rihtan. Yeah, this is considered what? The government stop, yeah, stop building any, uh, any factory or anything in Wadi Rihtan. That's called preservation to Wadi Rihtan. Okay. Paper of a book made from course three. All the following are example of renewable resource. All of these renewable resource, except what? Except coal. Coal is considered one of the fossil fuel, which is non renewable resource. Mean using the resource in a way which does not affect that or does not negatively affect the future supply of the resource. So that's a definition of sustainability using the resources in a way which doesn't negatively affect the future supply. Plastic made from oil product. Yeah. Which of the following factors help us in a resource? Yeah, a sustainability. Overpopulation, of course, that harm and damage the sustainability, but distribute the resources equally. When we distribute the resources equally, that help us in sustainability. Phenomena in the following image causes what? This causes soil erosion. Yeah, deforestation causes soil erosion. Groundwater is replaced by what? Again, groundwater, when the water is dry up or the groundwater dry up, it replaced by the water of oceans. Can be used in making the clothes. What's used in making the clothes? Yeah, that's the cotton. And making clothes may be due to the cotton and also may be from animal product, which is the wool. Which of the following is a good way to conserve water? Yeah, for taking a short shower. That's a good way to conserve water. Now, students, let's move to what? Move to the questions about lesson, lesson five. What can be used to recycle water? Yeah, which to use to use again. Yeah, what's used to recycle water to be used again. That's my dear students, the filter. Process used to get filtered water from the polluted water. Course, that's called recycling. Using water, yeah, that's called filter water. Use it from polluted water, that's result from but recycling of the wool. Okay. Number five, and charcoal, cotton. Yeah, all of these can remove all the following, except, hmm, except what? Except the salt which dissolve it in the water. Yeah, what salt dissolve it in water? So we can collect it by sand and charcoal. The water which enter the water filter, yeah, is must be polluted and come out as filtered water. Take care. Water enter water filter is polluted. Come out as what? As filtered water. 
in a simple water filter. Water should must or the waste water must pass by what? Firstly, then, then yeah, from the top, then charcoal, and finally cotton. Now I talk my dear students, put water from here. Number one, there must be a thin, yeah, then the charcoal, and finally what? That's the cotton. The word hydrosphere. Yeah, the word hydro, that remains to or means what? Means water. After that, hydrosphere. Hydrosphere contains what? Hydrosphere contains, my dear students, fresh water and also salt water. So, the hydrosphere contains two types of water, which are fresh and salty water. Water bodies, which is surrounded by land, that's called, yeah, and it's the opposite of the island. That's my dear students, the lake. Which of the following contain salt water? That's the sea. Okay? That's all about lesson what? Lesson five. Now, if we are going to check this good, we can get the questions of the last lesson, which is lesson what? Lesson six. Yeah, let's try to solve it. The natural resource, which is important for the survival of the living organism. That's water. The level of the water in a river may increase, causing what flooding. Uh, when there is more rainfall, so more water due to the rainfall. Water bodies which surround the continent that's called ocean. Area of land where all water flow in the common location that's water shed. From this picture, yeah, water bodies, I can find part represented by 90 what seven. Which one type of water? Yeah, can find in the 97 person. That's not a stream as it's a fresh, yeah, river found in the three percentage as it's a fresh aquifer or ground water also found in the three percentage as it's fresh, but the gulf or pond from what? From the 90 percent. Water can control the temperature of the body. Space and space are kind of wet land for marsh and box. Triangular shaped, made from mud, that's the delta. Plastic cup made from oil product. This image represents, of course, a water cycle. Now, we finished our revision about the, what, the first or the last uh, concept in, in theme three. Today, we are going to start a small amount of Theme four, concept one, which is called the effects of gravity. Yeah, theme four, concept four one, which is called the effect of gravity. Yeah, look at this picture. What can I see here? Yeah, that's sweets. These sweets fall down. Yeah, and also as picture, you can see the planets. These planets revolve in an orbit. That's due to gravity. Look at the pictures also here. The paper or the leaves fall down and the juice fall in the cup. So these images are similar that something going down toward the ground. So that's the common. And the movement of the leaf and the movement of the world toward the ground, that's due to gravity. So, if I ask you a question, Gabriel, each time you jump up, you fall down toward the ground. Why? That's because the gravity pulls you down toward the earth. 
also mediation a girl on a slide. Yeah, force of gravity pulling the girl, and as a result, this girl move down the slide. So, if there is no gravity, what will happen to the girl? Yeah, there will be no force pull the girl downward, and the girl also can't hold on the slide. So it will flying and not held on the slide. Okay. So gravity not only found on the Earth, yeah, between we and the Earth, but also revolving the moon around the Earth, there is a force of gravity. As the force of gravity pulling the moon, the Earth pulls the moon, and also the moon pulls the Earth. Take care to this point. There is a gravity between Earth and Moon as the Earth pull the Moon. And this pulling force from the Earth to the Moon causes that the Moon rotates in what? In an orbit. Yeah? If I'm going to leave, yeah? Look at this point. That's the Earth and that's the Moon. The Earth pull the Moon. Okay? And that's the result in Pulling the moon in a fixed area that revolve in a fixed area. Okay? And if there is no gravity between the moon and the earth, the moon will float off into the space and no fixed orbit to revolve around it. Okay? So, what do you already know about gravity? You know that gravity pull objects toward the center of the Earth. Yeah, gravity is the reason that this cup falls toward the Earth, okay? And gravity affects objects even when they don't touch each other. So this cup or this glass and the Earth, they don't touch each other, but it affects it to move. Also, like the Earth and the Moon, there is gravity force between the Earth and the Moon, and they don't touch each other. There is gravitational attraction force. And the word gravitational attraction force means that there is a pull force between the Earth and the Moon. Between Earth and Moon, there is a pull force. Okay. If I ask you what are the reasons which affect or the factors that affect on the gravitational force? My dear students, there are two factors affecting on the gravitational force. The first one is the mass. So there is a relation between mass and gravitational force. Look at this cute girl. She's carrying two poles. The first one has bigger mass and the second one has a smaller mass. Guess which one is affected by more gravity? Or the big mass pole have more gravity than the slower mass. So it will fall down faster, okay? So gravitational force increases when the mass increases, but when the mass decreases, what happened to the gravity, it also will decrease, okay? So if I ask you a question, what happened if the mass of the moon become twice its real mass? Become twice, that means it increase or decrease, of course, increase to double. Yeah, if the mass increase of the moon increase to double, so the moon will have more gravity. So it pull, yeah, it something closer to the Earth, and it might even crash into the Earth. Yeah, moon attract the, yeah, the, the attract to the Earth, and it may crash into the air. Okay? Number two, the distance and gravitational force. So, my dear students, distance is the second factor which affects on the gravity. Let's start. Gravitational force decreases when the distance between the object increases. So, the relation here is not the same. That's called inverse relation when gravity increase yeah or when the distance increase 
the gravity decrease. When the distance increase, the gravity increase. So my dear students, take care to this point. There is an inverse relation between what? Between the distance and gravitational force. Yeah, gravitational force decreases when the distance increases and vice versa. Okay, let's ask you a question. What happened if the distance between the moon and the earth become twice? Yeah, here we are going to increase the distance. What happened to the gravity? Yeah, the gravity will be smaller. So the gravity will decrease. Now we talk about two factors effect on the gravity. Number one, what the first one that's called the yeah the distance. The second one is the mass. Let's check you understand with these questions. A boy on a slide move downward due to the effect of what? Boy move down due to the effect of gravity. Gravitational force of Earth is affected by two factors, which are mass and distance. If there is no gravity on the Earth, the moon will float off into a space. Another topic question, what, true or false? Yeah, gravity, pull object towards the center of the Earth. Is the sentence true or false? Gravity pull, of course, gravity is a pulling force. Yeah, object pushed away of each other due to gravity. Take care, my dear students. Gravity is a pull force. Yeah, so push is a force. The word pushed, that's false. Planets in the solar system, yeah, revolve in a fixed orbit due to the gravity between the sun and the planet. Yeah, that's true. Gravity of the moon affect the ocean tide. Yeah, that's true. The moon, the gravity, not attract the Earth, but it affect on something called ocean tide. When we are going to talk about it again in the next session. Now we finish our session for today. Waiting for you, inshallah, in the next session. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.